Welcome everybody to the Global Family Office Investment Summit hosted in uh, Dubai by Ritos Family Office. We have reached the edition number uh, 14 in collaboration with Dubai FDI and the Ministry of Economy of the United Arab Emirates. Thanks to Alfonso Cajero, Chairman and Founder at Cajero Holding for uh, joining us. Alfonso, welcome. Thank you very much for the invitation. Alfonso, we are collecting all the best experiences, all the best case histories of people and companies attending the summit, and so you are uh, one of them. Uh, Alfonso, let's introduce us and our audience about your background, your personal background, but in particular the uh, company you are representing here today. Sure. Well, I'm Alfonso Cairo, chairman and founder of Cairo Holding. Our holding company have different companies. One is a construction company that it was founded in 2003. We also have a, a real estate developer in which we realize uh, different projects like multifamily housing, uh, single family homes, commercial, industrial. And then we have a financial institution that it's based in Miami, Florida, where we do invoice factoring. So you have got inside your company many sales, many many um, uh, many line of businesses. But we are, which are the main objectives of your company? Well, the main objective is global ex expansion. We started in Mexico, and then we realized that we cannot depend in one economy. So that's why we we went to the U.S. It's different to tropicalize the identity of the of the brand in, in another country that is not yours because everything changed, right? Even government policies, personal relationships. So Different languages also. Different languages, exactly. Uh, so the, the main point was to learn how to get out of the, the comfort zone, to involve ourselves into each culture. So when we started that right now, 10 years ago, uh, we started with the US, then we went to Europe, we have made uh, incredible things in, in Spain. Then we came here to Dubai uh, and we have su successfully worked with Abu Dhabi government, also with Dubai government. And we're taking account all the steps that we have learned to make it like our uh, personal recipe, yeah. so we can expand further. Yeah, of course, learning by doing is also uh, the best way to do uh, what you can do and you wish to do. Uh, Alfonso, where do you see uh, by now uh, opportunities for investments? Because that, those are uh, the, the things you are looking for. Where do you see opportunities in this moment? Okay, in this moment, 2021, we have learned a lot. All the world have learned a lot since the pandemic in 2020. Sure. But when we saw that there was no longer the possibility to go out as we were used to be, uh, to go to have dinner, to the cinema or whatever, we have multiple uh, commercial real estate developments in process and we have to stop, right? So where uh, the world is going now for the real estate is around small multi-family housing developments, also small single family homes, but near to fulfillment centers of major e-commerce companies. Of course, Amazon, of course, Walmart, that it's growing in e-commerce exponentially. And why in these places? Because we bought a couple of lands in Homestead, Florida. In, it's in the south of Florida, uh, two years ago. Each uh, single family home was $70,000. So it's not so expensive. Right now, that same houses are $120,000. So, and why is it the double amount? More uh, it's, than double. It's crazy yeah. because they're going to build a fulfillment center of Amazon three blocks from there. No? Yeah. Um, Alfonso, I'm really curious. We are really curious about the, the 2020 um, because it has been a really tough year for many sectors. Uh, what about the investment sectors like you? It has been an awful year, a good year, a neutral year. What about you? Well, it was a challenging year because we, we have to explore different opportunities that work for us in the countries we were operating. So, in, in particular in, in the US, we started to focus on logistics. In, in the ground of logistics, we started an invoice factoring service. This is to pay in advance an invoice that it was expedited by a AAA company 
for a trucker. You pay it like 70% up front, then you pay the 30% in one month. And that uh, short term loan will give you up to three to 5% uh, of the amount you're paying. So that uh, in the investment part, it's a, a really stable investment because the money you get in, you can lend it over six or seven times in one year. And the capital gain that you will give uh, to your investors, it will be like eight, 12% at least. Sure, sure. Um, so a very uh, good year, we, we can say 2020. And um, uh, what about, so you were uh, talking about the current situation, but how do you see the future? So the next months and the, uh, the next year for the uh, Carrera Holding, have you got any expansion plan? Have you got any uh, new ideas on the way? Yes, of course. Uh, actually, when, when we started four years here in the, in the Emirates, we, we started to, to be invited to different countries in the GCC, uh, like Bahrain, like Oman, uh, Saudi Arabia. And right now our plans are to consolidate our retail development area, but in a different projects, nor, not in commercial or residential. We're looking more into healthcare, hospitals, regional. We're thinking more uh, to get presence in another Emirates, you know, like Sharjah or Ras Al Khaimah or Ahman. Um, Alfonso, uh, it's really interesting to understand because we were talking about the language and so uh, how do you manage the, one of the maybe most challenging issues? Um, um, I, I mean the uh, idea to do uh, the same job with different, in different countries. So which is the unique language that you uh, use in your business? Well, of course, because I'm Mexican, I speak Spanish pretty well, well, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and English, because, well, it's uh, a universal language. I also speak uh, un poco italiano. <laughs> the, the thing is that uh, it's not about the language, you know, it's about understand how the, the, the countries work, to respect the identity of their traditions, and to perfect our practice, doing things that will benefit the society in which we are working in. Yeah, so to understand the real context where you uh, arrive and to, to make things work. It has been amazing, uh, this conversation with Alfonso Cairo, chairman and founder at Cairo Holding. Thanks, and thanks to uh, be Thank participating to this uh, conversation, series of conversation in collaboration with the Dubai FDI and the Ministry of Economy of the United Arab Emirates. Thank you and uh, see you around. Thank you very Enjoy much. Enjoy the summit. Thank you.